What's up? My name is Julian Williams, and I take Expedite. Some days I walk into the gym, and I don't necessarily feel like working. I take a scoop or two of this, be ready to go. It's the best stuff I've ever had. Expedite. Hey everybody, Marcos Villegas here in New York being joined with Keith Thurman who is challenging Manny Pacquiao on pay-per-view July 20th on Fox. Keith, congratulations. This is a moment that you've been waiting for for a very long time. How did you react and what emotions were going on through your mind when you were finally given the call that you were getting this fight? You know, when I was making a name for myself, when I uh, fought like the likes of Robert Guerrero back at the MGM Grand, um, you know, I was calling out Mayweather. I was happy to share an opponent with Mayweather. I believe I outperformed Mayweather. I was like, you know, I, if Manny Pacquiao wanted it, he could always get it. You know, I just felt like a young, hungry lion that was ready to fight the best in the industry. Floyd obviously um, strategically fought throughout the end of his career, and he had an extra exit strategy, um, and, and he did a great job. He's a tremendous athlete and a legend of him, in himself pacquiao who's fought floyd mayweather now this would be the second opponent to compare my skills in comparison to mayweather as far as overall performance a lot of people did not enjoy the floyd mayweather pacquiao fight i can guarantee him that they're going to enjoy the keith thurman pacquiao fight because keith thurman is a different kind of breed he's a different kind of fighter you mentioned upstage on uh, the press conference that you're going to make him disappear and that uh, you feel that very strongly you're going to knock him out. Why? What, what is it that you see there? What's left of Manny that you think you can knock him out now? Well, you know, Manny's 40 years old and he has something to prove. You know, I've been inactive for almost two years. I just had one comeback fight. I still have something to prove. If you remember when I came back, I told everybody that this is a get back year. And defeating Manny Pacquiao is a part of me getting back because Keith one-time Thurman does not just beat Manny Pacquiao, does knock out Manny Pacquiao. And I'm tired of people believing that I don't have the power that I once had, that Keith is not the same fighter. He got married. He's wifed up. He doesn't have, um, he just doesn't have the fire no more, you know. I believe in the sport of boxing that when you watch a fighter perform, that that performance is based off of that training camp. I know I've trained hard. As an athlete, you know, it's not something that everybody can do. But I have not been the best Keith Thurman that I can be. And knowing that consistently, even in the Danny Garcia fight, it was a it was a good Keith Thurman, not the best Keith Thurman. Sean Porter, not the best Keith Thurman. Jose Cito Lopez, not the best Keith Thurman. So it's not about what the fans have said. It's about my love and my passion for the sport of boxing. I'm tired of not seeing me at my best. Come July 20th, you will see the best Keith Thurman. So was that last fight enough to get the, the rust off where we can see the best Keith Thurman in this fight? It's not just the performance, but it's going from one camp into another camp. You see, it's taking the momentum of being an active athlete. So let's say I fought Jose Cito Lopez and that fight happened in January. Let's say I wasn't fighting Manny Pacquiao and this press tour was just to announce the fight and really I'm fighting Manny Pacquiao in January again. That's another long layoff and it would kill the momentum. I'm staying active. He's staying active. He also fought in January. We're both coming off of momentum. So I believe that when I fight Manny Pacquiao, he might, even at the age of 40, be able to perform better against me than he did against Adrian Broner. But I know that with my skills and my talent, that it's just too much for Pacquiao to handle. I have the reach, I have the size, and I have the IQ. And once when he starts getting touched, like Ben Getty said, they all move backwards. The winner of this fight, can we see unification with Spence and Porter because they're going down the route of a unification? Can we see this? Can you guarantee fans that you, if you win, will fight the winner? No, I cannot guarantee anything. Um, I'm not a fan of talking about the next fight. This is not football. This is not basketball. There is no scheduled season. There is nothing on um, paper. I look forward to unifying. I've unified before. I will unify again. Um, but there also is a rematch clause in this fight. 
you know. Um, so Pacquiao can exercise that right if he feels fit to. I'm trying to take the performance, even though there's no problem picking up two paychecks. I would like him to respectfully, you know, know that he's a legend. He's accomplished so much um, from from where he comes from in the Philippines to becoming champion of the world to becoming senator. Nobody can take away anything that Manny Pacquiao has accomplished. Um, but after my victory on the 20th, I, I believe we could look into negotiations um, for a unification bout. Keith, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And congratulations once more. Your first foray into pay-per-view. This man right here challenging Manny Pacquiao July 20th on Fox Pay-Per-View.